All right, let's crack the code on how wind turbines actually work. You've seen those giant windmills spinning in open fields, right? Here's what's really happening inside. Wind pushes the blades. Those blades are shaped like airplane wings. So when air flows over them, they spin. That spinning turns a shaft inside the turbine. But here's the catch. The blades spin pretty slowly, like 10 to 20 revolutions per minute. That's way too slow for making electricity. So what do we do? Enter the gearbox. The gearbox takes that slow rotation and cranks it up like shifting from first to fifth gear on a bike. Now the generator spins way faster, usually up to 1,500 revolutions per minute. But wait, what about the tip speed of those blades? Ideally the tip speed ratio, the speed at the tip divided by the wind speed, should be about 6 to 7 for max efficiency. Too slow, you waste wind. Too fast, and you risk structural damage. Thinking of building your own wind farm, you can't just plop turbines anywhere. The golden rule, the distance between turbines should be at least 5 to 10 times the rotor diameter apart. So, if a turbine has a 100 meter blade span, that's 500 to 1000 meters between each. This keeps them from stealing each other's wind. Now here's the wild part. What happens when a cyclone or crazy strong wind hits? The turbine's got a built-in brake, it pitches the blades to slow down, or even locks them in place. If it's too extreme, the whole system shuts down to avoid damage. So, next time you pass a wind farm you'll know there's some serious science and engineering going on behind that silent spin.